morning. I'm Benjamin Schneider. My guest today is former Pittsburgh Pirates play-by-play -play announcer, Lanny Terry. Lanny, good morning. What was it like growing up in Rochester, New York? Well, it was, uh, it was great, uh, mainly because of my parents. I had loving and caring parents who knew that at an early age, at the age of 12, I wanted to be a major league announcer, base, a baseball announcer. And so my mom and dad did everything they, they possibly could do to encourage me. You said the age of 12? At the age of 12, I wrote a vocational booklet about announcing, sports announcing, and the more I investigated it, the more I started thinking, yeah, I can do this. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. And it worked out pretty well. So this is something you know you've wanted to do for a long time, ever since you were very young. Yeah, and uh, all, my, all my high school coaches and all my high school teachers knew this is what I wanted to do. Uh, people at Ithaca College, where I went to college, knew I wanted to be a baseball announcer. So I was fortunate. I had a lot of people looking out for me. Speaking of Ithaca, was there anything in Ithaca that helped prepare you for being a play-by-play -play announcer? Is that part of why you chose to go to Ithaca? No, be, you mean because I met my wife there, you mean? No, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, there were, uh, well, first of all, I, I believe that that every every stage of your life uh, and, and every grade and, and then through high school and college prepared, prepares you you may not really know in how, in what way it prepares you, but it does. And so I was able to move up the ladder and and gain the experience, particularly important, the experience I would need, so that when that opportunity, when they, when maybe that big break was going to open up for me, I was ready to charge through that door. You spent two years working in play by play for a minor league baseball team, minor league hockey team. How did that prepare you for your 33 years staying with the Pirates? Well, uh, first of all, announcing the uh, the baseball in the minor leagues, uh, the, the more games you do, the better that you become. Uh, but, and, but then also proving to myself that I could do other sports, and consequently, in, in my career, I've done not only baseball, but softball, hockey, basketball, and football. And you'd always like to believe that you know how to prepare yourself to do any sport. Now, you worked with the Pirates for 33 years, now you're retired, but you chose to come to Waynesburg University to be a professor. What made you choose to take that path? Well, I needed a job, and Waynesburg needed a professor. And I, I opened the paper March 1st of 2009. There was the ad, and they wanted a guy with a master's degree or a gal with a master's degree in teaching experience. I didn't even have either, but they took a chance on me, and, and I think it's worked out pretty well. You enjoyed it very much? Oh, I love it. I love it at Waynesburg. Uh, you know, mainly I love. I, I have a, a, a strong affinity for the for the students. I uh, every time someone says to me about this generation, I I, I tell them that the students that I've met uh, have been all every bit top shelf and have have proven to me that most of them have dreams that they want to have come true, and I want to be uh, alongside of them and help them in any way I can. You still keep them busy doing some announcing with some local. High school or minor league teams? Yeah, I, I love doing play-by-play, -play, so I signed up with the MSA Sports Network so I can do basketball, football, and baseball, and and I love keeping myself sharp in that regard. How often do you get a chance to do that? With well, it, in, the, in the football season, it's it's uh, every Friday night I do a game, and then during the basketball season, it's usually two games a week, and baseball, same thing, two games a week. So it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just enough that that uh, I look forward to it, enjoy it, and, and, and get a part of, continue to do something I love. Thank you very much, Lanny. This is Benjamin Schneider.